Hey, hi everyone. Um, yeah, so there was some. <laughs> I had like uh, an extra tab open that was playing music and I had to track it down first. Um, but it looks like we broke the record for the longest time for me to switch. But um, anyway, I'm gonna first just share on Twitter, let everyone know that we are now live. Um, I think I'm going to stop using TweetDeck soon. It's insanely slow. All right. Let's see. I want to see if Chris pushed... A new update? Okay, there's no new update yet. But anyway, I wanted to show you something that I was playing around with today. Um, this is this is not... This is Unity. Um, it's kind of what the game looks like during Inside the Editor. Uh, before any of the effects are applied, this is what it looks like. Hey, David Kilmer. How, how's it going? And thanks, everyone, for being here. So... All right, that's not what I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys this like really cool effect I was playing with today that seemed incredibly cool. Um, hey, Latrevis, Latrevis, how's it going? Um, am I mostly artist or programmer? I am mostly in. I would consider myself an artist first. So, um, I want to, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Blame, but basically today I was playing around, so this is, um, this is a bit of a, we need to, we need to tweak this stuff and I don't have, uh, Mm. Hmm. Let me see. Wonder if I can use the um Okay, never mind. I, I uh, changed something so this isn't actually working. So we're going to have to... My MIDI controller setup isn't working. The Yeah, that's actually kind of why I stopped playing music so that people can play their own. Plus, sometimes you run into weird issues with uh, Google... Uh, Google or Twitch turning off your volume in your archives. Um, let's see. All right, this was the effect that I thought was really cool that I was kind of playing with earlier today. Um, the. Oh, right, so the problem was actually that that view distance was way too high. This is too dark. 
Um, There we go. Yeah. So it doesn't, you can see this doesn't look great in motion just because the lines are constantly getting redrawn. But I think, you know, in, um, when it's, when it's just, when you get a still screenshot that, that it, it looks really nice. Um, The, the, yeah, so this isn't anything that... I don't think I would actually use this for gameplay. Like, I think I might maybe have a feature if we do ship the game with the level editor to have this effect. You know, to I would basically give people something similar to the sliders and then you can just adjust and, and kind of play with... You know, you'd be able to adjust this and kind of play with making something that you like it but i don't think we would actually yeah it wouldn't actually be in the game just because it causes too many visual problems um basically too all well, too much flickering when you're moving around but i think let's let's try to get the um the background values to not be so that's maybe a little better Hey, Digel Neshi. Um, y equals to minus X cam. Oh, by the way, I want to show you guys something that's really, really cool, which is um, with... Uh, I, I don't know if anybody has used this yet, but this is what... Um, Where is Amplify Color? I want to show you guys how to do how I use do color correction, but the uh, I am a little bit I seem to have forgotten exactly how it's done. Oh, there we go. Amplify Color LUT Editor. And uh, so yeah, you open fly Amplify Color, and what you do is you can send this screenshot over to Photoshop. And it should automatically open up Photoshop. I don't know if it did just now, but the idea is you can do all your um, tweaking in this, in the game. Let me try that again. Let me do send screenshot to Photoshop. And if we open up, if we up Photoshop, it should have, Photoshop 6 is insanely, so let's try that again. Send a screenshot to Photoshop. Hmm. You know what, why don't we, let's save it. To, let's screenshots, let's save. Let's call it uh, 0821. And from here we should be able to play with it. Assets. Let me try this again. It's 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 been a while since I've used it, so I think it's giving me a bunch of problems. Or I probably just forgot how to do it. Hmm. Anyway, never mind. We're not gonna we're not gonna do color correction today. That's not working. <laughs> but anyway, I thought this this just looked really cool. Um, playing around with this, and then of course we also switched to 
one of the things I really like to do is switch into orthographic mode um, and play with, with um, in this version, kind of making visuals from here. Obviously, I think, I think what I need to do is actually write a separate shader for, for the orthographic mode because the way it handles depth is very different than in perspective mode. Back when Doom, maybe Wolfenstein ran a shader. Which one are you talking about? Let me see the, uh, let me click on the link that Digalneshi posted. Ah, yeah, I saw, I've seen this. Um, the problem with this stuff is it's really hard to judge from the screenshot how it's going to look in motion, right? Because the problem is I think a lot of these lines, this is all screens. I'm guessing a lot of this is screen space. So that means every frame it's being rendered, um, so you end up having these lines kind of moving around all the time, which which I don't think creates is such a great effect. But anyway, so there's not too much update. I'm going to be doing kind of more of these visual experimentation moving forward for about a week or so. We're, we should have new water and tree mechanics in the game to show you soon. Um, okay, we don't have anything ready. But anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and get started with... Uh, our game critique stream and so what I'm I am going to do first is I am going to get in touch with Hugh who we will be on so I'm just giving him a call oh thanks thanks Jeremy games